to commitment coverage and in California some races remain too close to call with votes still being counted. Some people are wondering why does it take so long to count all these votes? KCR 3's Mike DeSell live outside of the Sacramento County Elections Headquarters with an answer to that question. Hey Mike, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Brandy and Deirdre. It's kind of funny because, you know, leading up to Election Day, myself, other KCRA3 reporters would be out here at Sacramento County Elections Headquarters by the big pink box saying, make sure to get those ballots in early or at least before election night in order to be counted. But now that the ballots are in, why haven't they been counted yet? This is now going on day two after the polls close. Well, here's your explanation. Under California election codes, as soon as the polls close on election night, that's when county elections officials statewide are allowed to begin what is called a semi-final official canvas of the vote. That includes counting all the early return ballots, the vote by mail ballots, and the day of voting in in-person precincts. However, under California elections code, election officials actually don't have to begin the official canvassing of votes until today. So starting today, county elections officials offices statewide must work no less than six hours a day on weekdays to count all the votes, a count that has to be done 30 days after the election. Bottom line, Sacramento County officials told us the final results could take a while. So we have seven days to receive ballots in the mail as long as they're postmarked for election day. We get the bulk of those in the first three days. Um, and like I said, we brought in a huge drove of ballots from drop boxes yesterday. So I anticipate that it's gonna take us at least a couple weeks, if not three weeks, to process the bulk of the ballots that have come in. And when we were talking to her, it was actually yesterday, she was talking about uh, those dropped off on Election Day. A couple more things that could potentially slow down the counting, and that is elections officials have to verify all the signatures on those uh, ballots that arrive in the mail, and they have to make sure uh, that uh, everything else is in order for those ballots to count. They got to also uh, basically uh, count the write in votes on those ballots and under the election code, they have to do a hand count, a random hand count of 1% of the ballots. All that has to be done at county elections headquarters within 30 days. And then one last thing that could further add to the time before we get the official results, and that is after the 30 day deadline, the Secretary of State's office then has an additional eight days to certify those statewide contests. So hopefully that, hopefully that explanation gives you a little bit of an understanding why we don't yet know who some of the winners and losers are. Live outside the Sacramento County Election Headquarters, Mike Sell, KCR Ray 3 News.